Yeah. And that, and Stewie, maybe um, I guess you could you could follow on from that and discuss the the Russian um, situation. You know, obviously the the TAC was was announced this this morning. Um, so it'd be great to get some sense from you as to you know both in both you know how 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 will Russian how has Russian fishing been in the kind of the back end of um, of this year because the data. Um, data went up to the end of August, and then you know, what's your um, you know, what's your view on 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 2020 with in, in light of the uh, the TAC which has been announced? Yes, uh, I mean, as you as you correctly said earlier in uh, in 2018, we had a record uh, production of block in Russia, but since then we've seen uh, uh, fish size being significantly smaller. So we've seen a lot of small fish in 2019 and, and so far this year. So this means that we, we have um, we have been producing less block in both 2019 and 2020 compared to 2018. Uh, so uh, so you we are very likely to end up with similar numbers uh, this year to what we saw last year. Uh, block total block production will probably be you know, around sixty thousand ton, uh, and uh, and the HG production will probably be similar to to last year as well. Uh, so the TAC for two thousand twenty one uh, was uh, announced recently, and and that is now uh, going to be one million nine hundred ninety. Uh, 6,000 ton, but it, it's worth noting that uh, the quota allocated to uh, to the fishing companies will probably be uh, less. So it's probably going to be somewhere around 1.9 million because the difference is uh, there is some scientific quota put aside and, and some coastal quota and, and so on. But, but there is expected to be an increase in, in cuts next year again. and. Uh, and the size of the fish will probably uh, have a lot to say about what will actually be produced next year. So what, what the vessel owners will do, and they will make sure that they uh, maximize the capacity of, of each vessel. So, so, uh, so if we will continue to, to see smaller fish in the, in the catch, uh, the block production, for example, will be restrained. I think it's very likely that the producers will uh, strive to do maybe a bit more of block. But like I say, it, it will depend on, on size of fish, rate of catching and, and so on. Um, and yes, Styria, as a, you know, as a, uh, working with, a, you know, as you work for another Russian company, and what is your take on this um, Russian fishery MSC situation? Um, is, it, is it possible that the situation can be resolved? Uh, and if not, what do you expect the market impact to be? And, you know, will it cause a further widening of the premium between MSC and non-MSC, you know, pricing in the future? So multiple questions, but all connected, I guess. I guess that uh, we, we probably haven't heard the last of this uh, Russian fishery uh, issue, but uh, we're going from the assumption that they have lost their MSC certification and and I have no other information in that regard. So I, I think they will be without MSC certification uh, next year, at least. And they being uh, one of the biggest suppliers of, of block from Russia, that will clearly have a significant impact on the market. What the exact impact is going to be is is, uh, is open for speculation. So, so it's always difficult to say. But uh, before we had this issue, we had uh, we already had a, a big uh, difference between MSC and non-MSC in, in price. That probably had to do mostly with uh, with the problems in food service because the because the non-MSC is probably more reliant on on uh, on the food service segment. So so maybe that's partly COVID related. So further down the line, that will probably even out a bit. But uh, for this situation with uh, Russian Sea, it will definitely have uh, an impact. And, and as Klaus uh, alluded to, there will be more non-MSC, uh, there will probably be both more non-MSC block produced and more non-MSC H&G. So, 
So I would expect that the uh, the gap between non MSE and MSE will probably remain, but uh, but the balance there in between it's uh, it's actually difficult to predict what, what's going to happen, but the impact will be probably significant. Yeah, because because correct me if I'm wrong, it's one of those issues, isn't it, where it's um, the retailer is not going to kind of uh, budge on this. It's a retailer policy, and it's not going to change. So they're not going to kind of go, oh, it's okay. You were MSC before. Well, you know, it's just going to be surely a black and white situation for for the retailers, isn't it? So um, yeah, it's going to create an interesting situation in the market because of that reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's difficult to say how how that's going to pan out, but I'm sure some of the customers will probably take some non MSC, but but probably in very limited quantity, like, like you explained. Yeah, we've got a question here from um, from Andrew Jensen from Pacific Seafood in the US, um, which I guess would be one one for Sturi. So going into 2021, do you expect Russia to continue to produce 600,000 tons of H&G per year, or do you see the fleet starting to convert over to, to more single frozen items? Um, so Sturi. Yes, as I said earlier, I, I think many producers will strive to do a bit more block, single frozen block. Uh, it will depend on the fish size in the, in the A season. So over the last two years, we've had small fish. If we have the same situation again this season, which is actually quite likely, we will be uh, restrained by, by that factor. So, so, uh, so we might see slightly more production of block, but uh, probably not significantly more. So, so some of the producers will try to pick up what uh, what uh, Russian fisheries leave behind with the uh, MSC, uh, but there is uh, this limited capacity, and, and the vessels also. Uh, it is uh, uh, also to some extent depends on uh, how how the vessels are set up. Some vessels are more set up for fillet, and more for, some more for HNG. So, so there's not endless capacity to produce uh, fillet blocks. So, so I, I would expect that there'll be slightly more fillet block production, but, but it will be limited, this increase. Mm 